Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing our lineup construction video for the UFC card from the Apex, which I will be attending in a few hours. I'm actually looking forward to that. It's a, I guess, a unique experience because it's almost like a studio. You know, it's not, you know, not that many people there, so you really get that real ugly, <laughs> uh, really upfront look at all the violence and all that stuff. Anyway, that's for another story. Um, I'm looking forward to experiencing that, and um, uh, it's been a packed 24 hours so far in Vegas. So I'm going to be out of here tomorrow morning. So I considered upping the projections on all of the the fights that were added, and and the reason why is I don't know like these two Ultimate Fighter things. Uh, I, I'm just a little suspicious about the about the prop lines, um, about how accurate they are. I mean, I obviously, the problem is I don't know which way that they're inaccurate, you know, but I, I do suspect that they're, something's off, but I can't really predict which way that's going to be. So I really considered in, in the spirit of that, just kind of updating or upgrading the projections on all of the fighters from those fights. The idea being that if there is variance that I want to capture it, and I don't know which way it's going to be, but uh, I decided against it. Um, I decided to just go with my my regular projections um, for the purposes of this uh, of this slate. So what I think I'm going to recommend, and again, I'm, I'm I'm looking at Saber Sim right now, is I'm going to break it down into 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 three buckets. Um, I, I'm I'm going to probably. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to probably pay 50 lineups from some of the the medium aggressive settings from Saber Sim, maybe 50 from the ultra aggressive settings, and then 50 where I just kind of use the players or the the fighters that I like, but make sure to use the aggressive settings um, because the fighters I like, I mean, are just going to be pretty popular, I think. Um, so let's just see what we get here. So we uploaded everything. We, we, you know, ran 5,000 lineups. And again, all this is really about is how these get ranked, right? So if you're going to rank them by straight SIM diversity, and this is the formula for that, you, you are dinging yourself, you know, minus 0.2 times average adjusted ownership, which is pretty aggressive, I guess. But uh, it doesn't really take the 95th or 99th percentile outcome of the lineup, which some of the more aggressive stances do. Um, for example, again, this is for those watching this for the first time, uh, I might be going too fast. Those watching it for the 50th time, I'm probably going too slow. But the MMA default setting that we like to use sometimes with Saber Sim, if you look at it, it, it's actually using the 99th percentile outcome. But what's different is that it's only dinging 0.1 times the, the, the ownership. Um, and you know, with every, with every, push you get a pull you know so so you're, you're not really forcing it to be low owned but you're forcing the lineups to prioritize the 99th percentile outcome which could correspond to being low owned anyway okay right. um but according to saber sim there they back tested this and this is a better way um than the old method where you really dinged it for a for ownership but fortunately i saved that old formula here sort of in the sheets default set setting which again you can create your own metrics and i think i encourage these smarter people to do that smarter than me and there are there are hundreds of you honestly that, that play this stuff that's smarter than me with this stuff and if you have a better formula for this to capture upside um i encourage you to come up with it but this one it takes the 95th percentile outcome and it also dings 0.2 times some uh some of adjusted ownership it used to be 99th percentile outcome and a minus 0.2 sum of just ownership, but that was even way too aggressive. But I still want to use this one for uh, some amount of uh, of the lineups as well. So I'm probably going to do 50 from the MMA default, 50 from the sheets default, and then 50 from the um, from the uh, um, from my own likings which will which will i'll show you what i'm doing as far as that goes um so one thing that you see i'm, I'm not doing are these sims and, and 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 just the reason for that 
is that I'm just having a very difficult time with the contest fields. Um, I just, um, there, there's so many players that are playing this 150 max. They're, they're striving for uniqueness now and leaving money on the table and all that, that I'm finding it very difficult to project how many of those lineups are going to exist. So I am I don't feel confident in my contest fields, uh, nor do I feel confident in Saber Sims for that exact reason. So for now, I, I'm going to be abandoning or at least working on the, the sim aspect of playing MMA until I can get a better handle on what the people are really doing in these contests. Um, because there's a lot of people that are like me that are trying to get unique, and and what that's doing is it's messing with the contest field projection. So, um, anyway, so let's 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 show you how we're doing that, and we're we're, we're really not even gonna again. I, I like doing this. I never let, want to see who we who we have. That's 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 for amateurs. Um, so let's um take. Well, how do I do this so we can't see who we have? I think like this even. So here we're gonna play um 50 i guess from the mma default settings so we'll just put 50 and then the question is going to be is how many um much call it uh is how many min uniques are we gonna are we gonna take um are we gonna demand and i, th I think we should probably go for a decent amount here you know because as i saw within the mma default settings it does take some pretty big stands so I think going, you know, to using your min uniques as much as possible makes sense. So the way we're going to do that is we're just going to look at the average projections and we're going to put in average uh, projected score in over here. And this, again, gives us kind of like a baseline of, of, of what our average projection of our portfolio is going to look like once we start messing with it. So like when we go to min uniques two, you'll see it goes to down by like a like a point, which isn't that bad. And then we go down to min uniques three, and then you lose three full points. So I'm making this up, of course. Um, but I think that that's a substantial enough draw where we can go ahead and just go with min uniques two. Um, so we'll save these. Now where we're gonna save these, let's do this. Let's 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 clear the um the oh there is no favorites column. Excellent. So we're gonna put this in our favorites column. So you see you put 50 in there. And then we're now going to go down to the, the sheets default, which is the very aggressive, um, the very aggressive uh rankings. And we'll go back into the uniques one for now. And then we'll again we'll do the same thing. We have the average projections out over here. Okay. And we will then um go as money as possible until we get um a big drop. And I think I actually saw one. So it went from four, I actually went from 414 up to 419. Now, again, this is not particularly scientific. And then it dropped to 417. Um, so this is actually not bad. Now it won't even give me 50 lineups. So this is actually pretty good. Um, we'll go here. We'll use these 50. We'll go min uniques three. And we will... Um, and we'll save these the favorites as well. And you'll see that we now have 96. So why why is there only 96 if we did 50 and 50? Well, four of them appeared in both screens. Okay. So the last thing I think I want to do is just take another look at, at who I kind of like and then build what 54 lineups based on that. Essentially Xing out the guys I don't like, running, not running a new build, but just seeing, you know, what's left. And then make sure to use one of the more aggressive um, ways to rank them. And you could do this, you know, yourself, you know, whatever. And, and and here's the thing. Like Tabitha Ritchie, and I talked about this before. I don't know what a, it's just a great play in, in the 150. Only because I just don't know if her ceiling is that high. I mean, if she really gets things her own way, maybe she gets 90. And I just don't think that that's particularly relevant for this 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 lottery tournament so we're gonna start xing out um some of these some of these fighters that we don't like um uh and 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 kong as well you know her metrics are just not good enough for her 9600 price tags so we're gonna get rid of her 
we're going to get rid of um, uh, who were the others? We were going to get rid of that, of, of, a, of, a, of a, this whole women's fight, Cavalcante and um, Nunez. We were going to get rid of, of, of this whole fight, Awfully, and um, who was it, Santos? No, actually, we are going to keep Santos, and he didn't look that bad. But Medina didn't like his... Well, we're going to keep him just because he's got, you know, he's got leverage. Uh, we're going to get rid of, of, of Magni and Leonardo. Um, I almost wanted to get rid of Mearshart, but we'll get rid of Morales for the purposes of this. And I think everybody else we can kind of keep. Cannoneer is good enough. Fletcher looks good. Like, this whole fight looks good. Santos. Should we keep Santos in this mix? Again, in, in the in the spirit of of giving the um, in the spirit of giving the um, the replacement fighters a better, um, well, you know, we can start over here. Let's build. Let's rebuild with with this group. How about that? We'll rebuild this with not. We don't need a full five thousand for this. We'll build say a thousand. Getting rid of those fighters that we didn't like, and again, we could go ahead and, and and build with you know leave money on the table. But I think this is just kind of good enough. Um, these are the and the bazookas and all this stuff. Um, so let's again with these fighters, let's make sure that we that we get pretty different because I think these are going to be just like just good play sort of. So we'll go to sheets default for these and. We'll do the same thing. We'll go to the min uniques down to two, down to three. Let's see if we get no, we weren't able to even do it. So well, we only need 50, right? Yeah, so then we could go min uniques two, I guess. Up here. Um, we're getting probably I, I really even know what we're getting. Oh, so, oh, we left Hillman by mistake. Okay, so we got to get rid of her. Sorry, we did not like Hill. Um, rest of these are fine. Let's see if we can just eliminate Hill without it costing us. Yeah, that's fine. The Santos one, <laughs> just because again, he's he's in that. I don't want to get too much of this. This is what we'll do. We'll do 25 using him and 25 without, I guess. So let's uh, let's do that. So let's put in um, Sheets Default. These are the guys that we like. But again, we're making sure that we get the lowest, you know, the highest leverage of these. So now it's 121. And let's, let's then also, we have, we have probably too much of, of Marshall and Santos anyway. So let's take them out. Um, and then this this is this is good enough, and we'll put this in for the final twenty five. We'll probably need a little more. Let's see, uh, one thirty nine. So we need a, like eleven more lineups. So let's let's just see if we can do a little a few more with this. One forty four, and then I guess we could put, I don't know. Maybe a couple more from MMA default. One forty-eight. Maybe a couple of more. One forty-nine, and and one fifty. All right. So we didn't really. I think we did. A, I think we did a pretty decent job here. You know, we we did a decent combination of different settings. We did highlight the the, the player the, the the fighters we liked, and through projections we. You know, obviously, we we highlight who we like there as well. So that's what we're going to do in, in in the 150. And I I don't really know who I'm rooting for either. Um, but we are going to then what we're going to do. We're going to go into favorites. And again, I don't really want to see who we have. So we will uh, save these to my contests. Boom. And that's going to handle the um, the. Uh, the 150 um or the one or the 150 tournament um we'll download these and then we're off to the races
And all I have to do is I'm going to have to redo, I'm going to have to do my big, my big buy-ins, but just to kind of remind everybody who I like there. And I do like Ricci. I think she's a very good play. I just think that in, in the 150 max, I just don't think she has really the upside to win that tournament. Um, but I think she's a very, very good play in the, in, in the bigger buy-ins. And that's, that's my only real difference. And that, that Marshall bazooka fight, I think, I think both sides of that are pretty good. I think Marshall, you get some good leverage against what might be. I, I thought he'd be really popular, but I guess his ownership is not coming in as much as, as low as I thought. Just because his money line, um, he's plus seventy four hundred, and he's but plus one forty. Um, anyway, uh, I, I'm probably going to get a bunch of Marshall. Just kind of dangerous off short notice, but whatever it is, what it is. Uh, if you're watching, I'll be in one of the first rows, I think, with my daughter. So you probably will see me if, in fact, they get the right angle. Uh, if not, you can know that I'm rooting and uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.